Today's show is all about tools and we're going to warm up with this quick project. So take a look at the way that these elements are layered together. These are separate pieces that I connected using cold connections. And all it takes is a tiny little eyelet and a couple of special tools to get started. So eyelets come in a variety of different lengths. And the reason you need a different length is because when you're stacking different elements together, you may need a longer piece just to keep it all together. And eyelets are kind of like a tube rivet, but they're a pre-made piece. And they're really, really simple to use. So what we'll do first is just layer a few elements together. And I really love the look of this Celtic and basket weave and then this little spacer. Kind of using some different mixed metals here. Of course, that's a popular way to make it look like um, you're making some really professional high-end finished jewelry. Because all of these oxidized finish really kind of blend it all together, even when you're using different colors. So I just layer three different pieces together here. And you know, you can get a little bit creative with all the different pieces. And you just want to make sure that your eyelet is sitting down in the little divot on the tool. There we go. And I can press it into place. Now this is called an eyelet setter. And it has a little tip here that fits right down into the eyelet. And that's what we're going to strike to make it all connect. So you can see that it's just a tiny little bit sticking above my top piece there. And I'm just going to place this inside the eyelet itself. And then I'm going to strike it with my brass hammer. Now it's important to use a dead blow hammer for this because it's going to absorb some of the shock. All right, so I'll press it in, and then I'm just going to strike it down. And then it's all fastened together, and it's permanently together in your piece. And you can hang this on anything. You could make this an earring, but I like to use these little pinch bales. And this is going to make it a really cute little pendant for a necklace. And you can just squeeze these together with your fingers. And then you're ready to string it on a chain. So if you take a look at this one that I made with the chain, you can see my bale there at the top, and all my pieces are layered together. And so this is a quick way that you can make a lot of jewelry really fast. So here's another example. This is another little Celtic pendant. And this time, I'm just going to use the medium size shank rivet. And this time, I'll place it on my rivet setter, and the eyelet setter, I mean, and then put my spacer bead on the top. And then I'm going to take my tool again and just strike it down. Now, it's just going to take a couple of blows here. There we go. And you can use that same type of hammer if you were doing metal stamping, say, if you wanted to stamp some words into metal, you use that same type of hammer. Now, to finish these pieces, I'm just going to add my ear wire. I'm using a tweezer nose plier for this that really has a fine tip. And it has a lot of surface contact here along the edge so that I can really get that closed easily. And I'll just go ahead and attach my ear wire to the other one so that I can finish up this pair. Of course, you can mix all the different colors together. I like the oxidized silver and silver together for these earrings. But I'll show you what it looks like when I layer three different pieces together for this. So this is a link. And now these pieces here that have two holes are usually you're linking them together in a row. But this way, you can use those same holes. If it was too small, say, for example, if this one didn't fit my eyelet through it, then I could just use a hole punch that's meant for metal. I'm just going to place this on here again. I think it's even easier to keep it in place if you stack it while it's on the tool. So I'll go ahead and add some more. And then I'll get my rivet setter one more time on here. And then strike it down. I like the way it looks with the copper and the antique silver and the antique brass all together. There we go. And then I'll add my ear wire. And let's see, just want to open this up a little bit more. Now, if you wanted to add more links to this, you sure could. Or you could add a jump ring here so that your ear wire has a little bit more dangliness, too. And close that up. And then we have one more to make. And look, we've made two pairs of earrings and a necklace all here in less than five minutes. So let's go ahead and place our eyelet right on the tool. Then we're going to place this through. We'll just do one more. And then our basket weave. And then we're going to add a spacer bead here and stack it up, strike it again. All right, there you go. 
Now I'm going to add my ear wire and these are all finished. In less than five minutes you've got a quick little warm up that really gets you ready for making jewelry.